Hey everyone, down at Dump Start again. Today's parts information video is going to be on wheel axles. So, um, we'll start off explaining the, the choices here. So, um, this is a 12mm axle, uh, usually used on your, um, your cheaper. Your cheaper pit bikes normally run 12mm 12 12 axles um, and also the older ones also use 12mm axles. Uh, since sort of about 2009-2010 most of the bikes have been using 15mm axles. So I want to show you how we measure them. So obviously the 15mm is just the width of the, width of the axle there and as you can see it's uh, being on 15mm 15, 15 width. Um, and then your 12 mil, as you can see, it's bang on 12 millimeters there. So um, we're going to give you guys some lengths of the axles. So the total length of this 12 millimeter axle is 23. 20, 20, 23 centimeters, um, and then the actual length of the thread is about 28 millimeters. So that's the 12 more axle. Next one we're going to do is uh, the, the 15 millimeter axle, and this is uh, this is your most standard axle, and it's the same it's the same length as the as a 12 mil, 23, 23 centimeters, um, and then the length of the thread is the same as well. It's about yeah 20 so 28, 28 millimeters. Um, and then as for the spaces, the spaces can all vary on, from bike to bike. It, it all depends. It all depends on your um, on your wheel setup and what engine you use and how everything's aligned. So um, these your spaces are going to be different from bike to bike. But we can give you some measurements here. This one here is about 42 millimeters, and um, this one here is about yeah, 28 millimeters. But I mean that, that can vary from bike to bike. And um, the last axle we're going to show here is um, this is your like adjustable fork axle. This is this generally on all the adjustable front suspension. We'll use this type of axle. Um, the only difference is between that and the standard one is, as you can see, it has the spacer built into it. And this is so the fork can clamp down onto the spacer and it doesn't move around. So um, yeah, so because the fork we have two bolts. And then it'll clamp down. Um, yeah, so then you'll, yeah, you'll get no, no, you know, slipping, slipping around. Um, we'll give you some lengths on this axle. So it should be the same length as the other ones. Yes, yeah, so the total length is uh, this is 23 centimeters. The thread. Again, is about yeah, 28 millimeters, and then this built-in spacer, eh? its length is about 60, about 62 millimeters. A built-in spacer. So, um, yeah, that's that's most of the information on axles. We're going to show you a couple more things. These here, these are actually for um for motard racing. So um. When you're cornering, and if you uh, if you fall off when you're cornering, it so your axles don't rip the tar seal or concrete on the track. Um, so it's been quite costly to fix the track. But how these work is they actually, as you can see in there, and see on the axle has a threaded a threaded hole. It actually just screws on the end there. But um, I mean yeah, screws on there. But um, I mean yeah, this is only for motard racing on the road. So um, it's not needed for dirt bikes. So all the new thumb stars, they actually come with a split pin in the axle. So we'll have a wee, a wee hole drilled in the end there for, for, um, for a split pin. But most of the other bikes out there don't actually have this. The purpose of it is for 
is to stop the wheel nut falling off because if your wheel nut falls off then um, your wheels obviously going to fall off which is uh, no good for riding. It's a, it's a pretty uncommon problem even if you don't have a split pin but um, you know Thumbstar likes to make sure it's got everything covered. Um, another thing we'll show you just before we finish up uh, most people know this but um, we'll just show you anyway as always remember to grease your axle every time you have it out so just put a bit of grease on it if you've got a grease gun or even just a tube of grease you know just rub the grease on it and this helps make your wheel bearings and everything last a lot longer and move a lot more freely and that's probably about it for axles thanks for watching <laughs>